Welcome to the Secret Underground Laboratory Recovery and Salvage, where rude mechanicals do magic. Hello, I'm Bronze Age, Director of the Secret Underground Laboratory Recovery and Salvage. And today at the lamp bench, we have another magnifying lamp. Now the problems here, at least two of them are fairly obvious. First, lamps don't usually come with bungee cords wrapped around them. So we have to do something about that. But the second, and a little more serious, is this push button here. It's lost all its push. And that could be a big problem. First, a short sermon about fluorescent lights in general. They're usually in tubes like this. This tube is filled with uh, an inert gas, usually argon, and a phosphorescent powder. If we run electricity through the gas, the uh, phosphorescent powder starts to glow bright white, and that's where we get our fluorescent light from. Now, it's kind of difficult to get electricity to go through a gas. One way to do it is to have a very, very high voltage spike, which gets everything started, and then it flows without any trouble. The other method, which is what we're using here, is these two little terminals go inside this end cap, and there's a little coil of wire, both at each end. And what we're going to do is we run our electricity through that coil, like a dead short, really, is what it is, and it glows hot. That gets the powder hot, gets the gas hot, and then we can electricity will flow through it with very little trouble. Now this magnifying lamp is a permanent part of the lab's uh, light bench. This little button right here turns it on and off. When I turn this over, I press the button down, and we can see this glow right here. That's those two little coils at each end of it getting very, very hot. And when I release the button, the light comes on. And when I push the button again, the light goes off. Now, an amp like this is very awkward to work on. So I've made a special jig to hold it in place. And here we have the tube, which has four connectors, one for each end. And this connector here, the way it's made is perfectly square. It can be turned any direction, because it doesn't matter. Now let's see what's inside here. Now, fluorescent lights operate at a higher voltage than regular incandescent lights, and for that reason, they always have a transformer, usually called a ballast. And here we have our switch, which has fallen apart. That's no big surprise right there. So, if we can't get a switch, and this is actually two switches in one, why not just get two switches. Now this kind of work is when a magnifying lamp actually does come in quite handy. Now this is a piece of uh, 16th inch aluminum plate. I'm going to use it to make the uh, switch plate. And it, when you're working on something with small details like this, it's usually easier to start with a big piece, make all your cuts and your holes, and then saw it off. Now I can make a dozen of these until I'm satisfied with it or out of scrap, one or the other. But when I put it on here, I'm going to have to drill some holes in the original lamp. And that's when it really gets kind of serious. Because I really can only drill holes once. This switch plate here is going to cover up any raggedness, uh, anything slightly off center. I can ream it out, file it out a little bit to make it line up with the holes. But I don't have much to play with.
Now we come to the fun part. This is what's left of the switch. We've got the red wires and the black wires. And these two switches are going to take the place of what used to be on the inside of this thing. Now we see if it works. Of course, I have great confidence. There we are. All that's left now is just to put it all back together. Now the last problem to address is keeping the tube in the lamp. And uh, I have a piece of a uh, clock spring from an old mantel clock. When it broke, it came apart with so much force that it knocked the uh, clock cabinet into pieces. But I used it to make some little spring clips that will go on here and hold it in place. This is Bronze Age for the Secret Underground Laboratory Recovery and Salvage, and we have saved another nice magnifying lamp from the landfill. I appreciate you watching this video all the way to the end. I would really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. Please comment, questions, I answer everything. And again, thank you for watching.